Welcome back to this self-love Valentine's Day conversation here on Upper Michigan Today with Joanne Garrow of Cot Dream and Therapy. Joanne, I just wanted to thank you for, once again for being here with us because I know for you, for many people, for example, being on live TV, that can be really <laughs> nerve-wracking. And even just being here, that is one example of practicing self-love, yes. putting yourself in an uh, uncomfortable situation. Yep, so true. This is definitely not <laughs> easy for me to do. Um, and I, I am just leaning into it. And that is a, a way of practicing self-love. It's not always happiness and mm -hmm. um, empowerment. Well, it is empowering. I feel that. Um, but it's also feeling vulnerable and mm -hmm. scared. Which I feel like, I mean, that's important, right? Like mm -hmm. being self-aware and like kind of leaning into your emotions. And I think for the most part, you and EP do a really good job of making people, people feel comfortable when they're on this show. So I hope so. Do, you know. Yeah, I hope so. But talking about, you know, self-love and whatnot, like what are some self-love practices that people can, you know, get into or like daily habits or I don't know, affirmations, things like that. Because I think those are things that are talked about and I like try to do them, but I'm not great about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do. And I think ultimately it really depends on the person and what's important to you. So really kind of looking within first to try to figure out what gives you energy and what depletes your energy. And once you have a better understanding of what's important to you, then you can start to implement something really small. Start small. Like for me, for example, I never drink water. I love coffee. I even mm -hmm. talked about it in my poem. And I am really working hard to improve my physical health, just being healthier because I'm getting older by drinking water and it's super hard. So I have incorporated this ritual of drinking a glass of water as soon as I wake up before I get my coffee and it's working. It's just a tiny little step and it feels so good. So it's just about finding a little a little thing that you can improve in your life yeah. and including it into your routine and mm -hmm. MK mentioned affirmations. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's as simple as just looking in the mirror and saying, hey, I'm doing great today, or I, I love myself today. There's something that I, I listened to this podcast from Mel Robbins. I read this whole book called The High Five Habit, mm -hmm. where she encourages you to, yeah, yes. I love Mel Robbins. Uh, She's so, yes. and so She's inspirational, great. just to high five yourself in the mirror every mm -hmm. day, something yep. like that. And yeah. it seems silly, but it can have really positive effects on how you go about your day. Absolutely, absolutely. Affirmations are wonderful. If you can just look in the mirror and Take a minute to thank yourself. Say thank you. Thank your body for carrying you around mm. every day. Telling yourself I love you. What are, do, you, do you find that people face certain challenges or what are some of those challenges that people face when they're trying to cultivate a, a healthier self-relationship? Absolutely. It is not an easy thing mm -hmm. to do. And people pro are probably cringing all over <laughs> like, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. Uh, I can't look in the mirror and tell myself I love, I love you. Um, it's, it's a common effect for people to struggle with that. And the challenges, um, they, they're, they can be from all of your life experiences. Mm -hmm. Trauma, trauma for sure. Um, little traumas, big traumas, just experiences, layers of conditioning, social media. These, these things all kind of lead to self-criticism, self comparisons, judgments, negative core beliefs, low self-worth. So if somebody is trying to develop um, more habits, more patterns for practicing self-love, mm -hmm. it's, it's a very individual thing. Where do they begin looking to, to yeah. develop those habits? Yeah, I think one of the most important things, I have this formula that I tell all of my clients. It's called insight plus action uh -huh. equals change. So if you want to change and start loving yourself more, you first need to have some develop some self-awareness, some insight. So I would start there. Start figuring out, start paying attention to like your thoughts, your mm -hmm. feelings, your behaviors, and and maybe making some maybe a list of your values. If mm -hmm. that's overwhelming, just a list of what you love, and what energizes you, or what depletes you. And then you have a little bit more of awareness and mm -hmm. you can start to say, oh, I don't I don't like to do that. I don't like to go out on weeknights. Mm -hmm. I like to stay in and get my rest. And you can start to uh, make decisions based on what's important to you. We love a boundary. Yeah, we do. Oh, and, yeah. And I feel like boundaries <laughs> are so important. <laughs> I know. How, 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 are, how important are boundaries and oh. setting boundaries, recognizing yes. boundaries uh, in the context of practicing self-love? Um, well, boundaries are 
very important. They are um, basically the self-respect piece mm -hmm. of self-love. And um, they are like a fence that you build around or maybe a, a line that you draw in the sand, depending on how strong that boundary is, to protect your peace, to protect yourself and, and live in alignment with what's important to you and who's important to you. What if I'm such a people pleaser though <laughs> and I just don't really create boundaries and I'm mm -hmm. constantly saying yes to people mm. and, and I'm putting my own self-love and self-care practices on the back burner? Yeah, yeah, that's how pretty do, Yeah, how do, I, how do I go about even, I mean, I, I feel like this is, there's not one right answer to how do right. I go about changing that, but yeah. I mean, where do I start? Yeah, so I mean, for one, you could get help. Yeah. You know, if it's, if it's something that you're not able to do by yourself, get some help. Mm -hmm. You know, there's therapists. This is the stuff that we work on. I work on this stuff every day with every client mm -hmm. and um, everybody can benefit from it. So you could get some help, whether it's with a therapist or a life coach or a friend, mm -hmm. somebody that you trust. But I would start small again and I would start with self-awareness and then once you figure out what you really don't want to mm -hmm. do that's people pleasing, mm -hmm. You start with just learning how to say no. It's so hard to say no. It's sometimes. hard to say no. It, it really, start really small. I feel like it like comes Practice. with age too, mm -hmm. right? Like oh, I mean, yeah. I feel helps. like you're. I mean, you're so like young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say that I'm like 32, but like you're, yeah, you're I not feel that like when I was in my 20s though, I feel like I also constantly had the hardest time saying no to people, and I think. I'm becoming more self-aware and like understanding like what you were saying, like what depletes my energy. And it's like, yeah, if I don't mm -hmm. want to go out, I don't want to go out and that's okay. Right. Yeah. So and the right people will, you know, want to be around you. Exactly. And yeah. you practice small, you mm -hmm. know, practice on somebody close to you or on something little and then you can get a little more comfortable with that and then you can practice on saying no to some something that you're really afraid to, somebody that you're mm -hmm. really afraid to say no to. And it's really important to remember that if you are struggling and, and you feel that you cannot say no on your own for example to reach out get help there's absolutely nothing wrong with that we do have to take another break but when we come back and we wrap up today's upper michigan today show we'll talk a little bit more about joanne and her practice at hot dream and therapy 